Hello everybody, it's Jesus Primus, and I'm back with another episode of the Heathen Horde. So sorry for uh, not being able to record last week, I was very sick, as in I could barely talk loudly enough to be heard in the recording, and I sounded like crap, so I determined to uh, not record that week, and sadly I ran out of uh, pre-recorded content, so that resulted in nothing really being recorded. I feel bad about that, so... I had to start this video off with apologizing to all you loyal watchers. Anyway, last time we kicked Wessex's ass to the Stone Age. Uh, they're down with a five-year-old king. We killed two of their kings personally. It was fun. Uh, if you would like to watch that now, please look here. Excellent. Now that everyone's caught up, let's get going. About to realize we're about to head into 1900. Sorry, not 1900. That would be really weird. 900. Uh, so that, you know, we've been at the wheel a while here. Uh, Skeins moved over to this one. Who's in prison? What? He's in prison in North Africa. Okay. That's just typical, right? <clears throat> One of my vassals has improved. 16 ain't bad. It's not, you know, actually commanding men for me at the moment, but not bad. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, he's consumption. That's terrible. Hmm. Anyway. I have an open council position I need to go fix. He'll do. Roam together. Uh, what else do I need? Administrating realm is better than what that is. Yeah, okay. I'm still threatening because we took Gloucester. Um, and yeah, Guthrid here is 55. Still kind of badass. I might have been too harsh at the court here at the Orphic. Uh, but Councillor Alderman Valdemar managed to calm them down, and even like me more, just by giving them a half day off. I need to reward him. We have gold. Uh, the problem is, is, Wessex is about to have a piece of it conquered uh, by somebody who's under the um, College and Empire. I don't want anything to do with that, because um, it's even Kent, as I remember. It's something on the island, which doesn't make me happy. That being said, well, somebody under us is going to go take Somerset, so... I'm not totally pissed, man, but it's not nice. I might have crippled Wessex a little too much too early, but... These things happen. So I think Carlinge and Emperor, Emperor just died. We moved on. Yep, just died. Knowledge Charles the Tormentor, who has not been coronated yet. But the Empire still seems to be holding pretty much together. Uh, what happens in CK2 Plus is the Carolingian Empire will eventually decay. If enough people either ignore his existence, like this guy just did, or uh, if too many of them die off in a quick succession. Um, it's an interesting thing to occur. Uh, it will happen eventually, but I've seen Carlinge Empires last into the year 1000, which is ridiculous. Anyway. I'm 55! How did I just get my wife pregnant? Oh boy. Ow! <laughs> 55 and still kicking. Oh no. Goofried has finally gained in firm. No. We're too old. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. We finally kick Wessex's ass sideways and, and, and now now we're too infirm. Uh so we can't be focused in combat anymore. Or hunting. Uh so I'm gonna say in his old age he's he's either going to family or leadership or something like that. The problem is the stewardship is crap. Oh man, minus four from infirm that would do it. Yeah, that would do. It's 
Francisco for family, because uh, I could use the diplomatic bonuses, uh, plus the bonuses to, you know, my actual family. Oh no, half ten, get better. I just realized my error has consumption. This is terrible. No, half ten can't die. Come on, get better, get better. Don't die on me, man. If I have to play as a fucking nine-year-old also named Goofred, I will have a problem. Oh, man. Linda is here. He is going to be a war maiden. Of course, she is part of my family. Sure. I need a better court physician. Enar will do it. Go of St. Peter's. Or it's probably called something else now. Hmm. You were half down has usurped the temple. And Saint Ishmore. Okay, cool. My button. Ah. Keep stealing land up there. Again, people want to marry my daughter to Bulgars, apparently. That's just the way it is. I, of course, refuse because no, they won't come. Hmm. Interesting idea there. But he seems to be under siege from the Scottish Liberation Revolt. Wait, that means they're pagan Scotsmen? They're pagan Scotsmen. Oh god. What have we done? Uh, we can usurp the Thane of Moray. We will. And I'm gonna give that to my son if I can. I can't. Right. I should remember that. Hmm. Interesting. That would be a bit of a problem. So I think we're sitting on how many earldoms? Four. Great. Um, do I hold any of these personally? No. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to have to end up doing is, uh, giving up... Ah, uh, you got Westmoreland, right. I'm going to have to get that back eventually. I think something for my son to do. Um, what should you do? I'm not trying to remember what exactly I'm doing. Right. I have no one to give it to, really. Hmm. Interesting. We're gonna let time take on this one because I really don't have anything to do with. Really? Lose a hundred prestige? Uh, I don't want to. Oh, man. A again? Uh, deal with it quietly. I don't want to know. <laughs> as long as I don't get involved again. I have a little son named Scully, who is ill. Problem is, he will now steal some of my land. Yep. I am tired. Oh no, I'm about to get incapable. Yep. 56 year old man finally loses it. Well, at least my region's my wife. Uh, that's a call for record physician. Don't want to lose my regent. Shut the gates, please, because that's in Lincoln, and that's coming for York more often than not. Sorry, Yorvik, which is York, in case you haven't caught on yet. <clears throat> Wait, what? What? What am I busy? What, what am I busy with? What? What could I possibly be busy with? Um, I'm just 
old. Let me close my door. Can I? Can I not? Am, am I? Am I too old to just have the gate shut? What? I didn't know that was a thing. He, she's not marrying Christian. How can I ever reward you? Okay. This is probably going to spell the end for uh, Goofrey the Butcher here. He's quite old. Although I've had... Yep, yeah, there we go. He's finally reached Valhalla. Man. 56. He reigned for a while. I am impressed with what he managed to do. However, the king is now half Dan. Long live the king. Uh, and we're going to have to do quite a large amount of things to keep the realm together here. <clears throat> so enters King Halfdan, a godly man, is sure to impress the Godis with his extensive knowledge of the sagas. Long live King Halfdan. Sadly, we have consumption, which means uh, he could die pretty soon. That's a bit of a problem. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to end well, because that would leave us to a ten-year-old. And a lot of pretenders. The old Scully of Lancaster has. What do you actually own? Bits and pieces. Oh, okay. Northumberland, that little piece, and. not too much. I'm going to wear my men down, just because I don't know what the AI was planning to do with them. Probably get rating. Uh, and I'm going to start upgrading holdings and all that goodness. See, I was tribal with this dude, which is not good. Uh, upgrade Moray to a castle. Can I get Inverness to do the same? No. That's obnoxious. I also have ten holdings when I need seven, so I'm going to have to go find some people to get land. It's going to be also amusing. I'll make this man my marshal. He's pretty good. Uh, I'm still threatening. I'm now actually probably more threatening. Oh, and we're at war with Wessex. Ah, that was what we were doing. Okay. I like being at war with Wessex. It's fun. Everyone get that way. Only misguided warrior, uh, but it's a nobody. I don't really care. I'll tell the men on the wrong continent to get down. Well, not continent really. Anyway, do do do. My marshals using his men to extort money from the peasants. Really, dude. <sighs> Either way, I'm just about almost guaranteed to be stuck with a uh, peasant revolt, but he's good, so I'll deal with him. No, you are not marrying my sister. Uh, five? We can. We'll see about that in a couple more years. And yeah, I, I need to get these improved. First things first, I'm going to just get some hill, hill forts going here to make these better places. Because apparently we have to do this, because he was apparently tribal, for god knows what reason. Well, to be fair, pagans are usually tribal. It's, we're a odd case on that one. Uh, just due to the fact that we run Britain. Therefore, we are feudal. That will do for that. And we have quite a few less men, because uh, not everyone loves us as much as my father. And because we're well over the demense size, and that's what being over demense size just tends to do. You have less men. 
I'm going to... I have a son! Inge! Let's go smack him first. A king in Georgia? No. Ah! Time to kill people! And they run away. I think they, they understand that, uh... That this family is not to be screwed with. <laughs> huh! My half-brother died of pneumonia. So I get... Lancaster back. But I needed him to sit on that land for a while. Oh, man. Okay. I guess. This isn't good. The court faction loves us. Good. Give me a minute here. I have a god-awful amount of, man of uh, land. It's just massive piles. It's everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to give this guy landed title. I'm going to give him... I can't just give him this piece. Hmm. Weird. I need to give somebody Lancaster. Um, I'll figure out who in a moment. Wait, what are you doing? Somebody was sent to deal with Ravel? I don't remember ordering anyone to do that. I need to set a regent. My wife would be a good idea. Yes. It basically guarantees my regent will like my kids. So they'll be less willing to steal from them. Not very many people like me. Well, not too many of my vassals, anyway. Too big, too many hell dodges. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that. That's mostly why they don't like me. I'm being a bit of an autocrat at the moment. Um, the marriage to the England, yeah, sure. Excellent. That should get us a good one there. Uh, take Oxford. Of course, Af Office Africa is Odin. You're, you're trying to take Normandy off of Wessex. Oh, man. That's going to be amusing. I, I believe this is called the Wessex Funeral Pyre. Um, this, this, we crippled this state. Utterly. You know, other Christians are stealing land off of them. This, this is, this is interesting. Oh, uh, boy. He's about to get pneumonia. Hillfort constructed. Good. Take this. Call off the attack a little. Save some men. Uh, you're nobody. Learn your own. Keep losing Southampton because it's annoying. Uh, let's go get Zealous. I don't think they're going to have anything capable of convincing me to convert anytime soon, considering we're crippled Christianity on the Isle of Britain entirely. No! Inge's dead. That annoys me. Smack him again. Take my land back. Just continual process. That's why I really don't like being tribal. You have nothing to actually hold land with. Oh, crap. And the Carlingian Empire is expanding into us. That's not good. That was a city, so I went quick. Sacrifice to Odin. And that's 100% war score. Yay. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Excellent, we've usurped a bunch of things. So, first things first. Give somebody that. Quick new vassal to it. Take him. Congratulations, you're also getting a lot of stuff. Just give me a minute. Uh, you're getting the Thanage of Oxford. Excellent. And I'm probably then going to give you... Do I have the Yaldum in Mercia? I might not. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have him favor struggle, because he is agile, which gives him bonuses to personal combat and health. Which means he's going to be amazing, eventually. My son... My eldest son got chosen thrifty by the AI, which is just annoying. <sighs> I hate it when they do that. The AI, the AI doesn't make as good of choices with how to train your children to just keep making more warlords. Um, which is obnoxious, really. Let's call down the men. We still have 89 Vikings from the original horde. And this dangerous faction for the princess here. Which is bad, because that would leave our uh, family line. That's not good. So, we need to make people happier, and the easiest way to make people happier at the moment is to divvy up some land. Like, a lot of land. You're the Thane of Gloucester, you're gonna get some land. I'm gonna give you Worcester. Out here. Great vassal. Great vassal. I don't care. Anyway. Do you... How much land do I need to divvy out still? A lot. Okay. Gloucester needs to get Worcester. Right. Here we go. Oxford, I'm going to give him Northampton. I'd like to keep some of those. Um, but I'm still massively over. Uh, I need to set somebody up here in Moray. Do I have anyone lying around? Not really. That I can give land to. Hmm. Is it a problem? I'll bring him in. Oh no, I bring her to him. Crap. Right. Yep. That was a stupid, stupid dis mistake. Ah. Keep forgetting that um, when you marry women to men and it's not uh, matrilineal, they go to him, not the other way around. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, but to do. I need to bring in uh, some people to go be lords for me. So, first things I'm going to do is I'm going to invite a steward, because stewards typically take better care of land. There we go. We've got him, lower titles, the Yaldum of Moray. Now, he's not going to expand as much as other people will, but he will take care of this land better. Um, which is good. Do, do, do. I now need to give up another three titles, which sounds like Lancaster. Righteous imprisonment. I could. 48%. Leader of plot. And he's been a bit of a thorn on my backside for a while. He's getting it. Good. We'll deal with him later. New Marshal. Hala. You'll do good, and you actually like me. Everyone's beginning to like me a little bit more. Let's get rid of the skill eight commander. Get out some Heardmans and that sort of thing. Oxford. Gloucester. Maximilian there. This game. Oh, I can't, he's in jail, right? 
cost in the... Okay, cool. Do, do, do the same problem again, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Problem is we've lost a lot of our middle management out of this. I don't like that at all. Give me a moment. I'm going to go get a coordination done. Because uh, I need to. And... Do I have anyone? Okay, my prison. Nobody monk. I'm going to ransom him. Just for some more cash on hand. Of course she can perform the ceremony. Uh, he's just going to rot for a little while. Uh, the other king comes. He should. We have very, very large amount of marriage ties. I There are no more prestigious names than Haftan Hisvik, in my opinion, so that's not happening. Uh, <clears throat> Yorviku coordination. I, Haftan of the Hisvik dynasty, with the blessings of Odin, do hereby rightfully assume the crown of the kingdom of Yorvik. With those words, doth become the king of Yorvik and true, which he his vassals lining up to bow before him and to swear everlasting fealty. Uh, it is an impressive ceremony, full of pomp and circumstance, and no one will write, and one that will write King Haftan into history. The streets of Yorvik are lined with Norse crowds cheering, with everyone straining to get a look at the important personages that pass by on their way to the forthcoming feast. I have gained proud, 50% chance of being proud, and a bunch of piety. Yeah, I'm proud. I should be proud. I am king! I have a good time drinking with this Jarl Sverger. Mori. He my buddy. Ahem, one point in the uh, coordination's feast. Uh, Go the Grimir of Elgin stands and gets everyone's attention and delivers a terrible poem. You suck. Uh, and somebody's ranting and raving and being an asshole because somebody plays the wrong drink in front of him. How annoying. And somebody wants to go duel. Uh, that's that's a dumb idea. No, not not now. Take it outside. Somebody's dancing on a table. And I made a buddy with the other king. Maybe. Maybe? Am I your buddy, buddy? No, not quite. Uh, the court faction is approved and we gain 100 prestige. I am coronated. It was quite a ceremony. That being said, we are the new king of Jorvik, Halfdan. Uh, we're still trying to lose and threatening, and now we're restructuring the realm a little bit. Uh, we're still a little over our demand size, but I'm going to call it here for an episode. Uh, we've finally left the reign of Guthrid the Butcher, who reigned for a lot of years. Quite a long time, and we are into the year 1900. Sorry, 900. I keep saying 1900. Uh, I'm stuck in modern times. Um, and yeah, the, the world is a very interesting place in this year. Uh, the Byzantines have expanded westward and plunked a little bit into the east. The Khazars are still a massive force. Look at that. That's impressive. Uh, the Safrids are holding strong. And... Uh, I'm going to say Christianity is on the run in the British Isles. Still holding kind of strong in uh, Iberia. Doing all right in the east. Hasn't quite made the massive push into the Slavic region as it usually does, but it's taking there very slowly but surely. It's got many leaders and just waiting to convert land tiles, so I know how that feels. And yeah, they're doing all right. We haven't completely destroyed the religion yet. We're working on it. Islam is doing what Islam normally does. Actually, it's a lot more Shia than what Islam normally does. Um, eh, these things happen. And Coptics are actually holding on pretty well. I'm impressed. So, it is the year 902, and I'll be back next time. Now, uh, here's where I'm going to put in a little bit of a plug. Uh, my parent company, uh, Stared Strategy Publishing, which is the uh, other linked web, uh, YouTube on the main page, will be putting up a podcast uh, this Thursday. 
um, some of that content will trickle onto here as it's relevant to this channel. Uh, but if you're interested, uh, there will be a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.